Hello team! Today we learn what it's like to see a game with so much style, but absolutely no substance with Paper Sorcerer for the PC on Steam. Developed by Jesse Gallagher and published by Ultra Runaway Games, Paper Sorcerer starts off with four brave warriors using a sacred artifact to imprison an evil sorcerer and save the land. Oddly enough, the story is not done yet, as the game actually chronicles the tales of the evil sorcerer as he tries to escape from the confines of the extra-dimensional space he was imprisoned in, with the help of his summoned monsters and other imprisoned villains. Paper Sorcerer was funded by Kickstarter, asking only for $5,000 but receiving three times the amount for their project. Paper Sorcerer plays like a mix of Western and Japanese RPG mechanics. When traveling in the overworld, you do so in a first-person manner as you explore the area for treasures and puzzles. Character development is similar to a Dungeons & Dragons type growth system, and team composition is based on who you choose among a pool of pre-built minion archetypes. Combat is facilitated through a turn-based system similar to old JRPGs, where you navigate through menus and choose commands based on the challenge at hand. At the very least, the core mechanics of Paper Sorcerer are tight and well thought out. Having a fully customizable team means the game never becomes run-of-the-mill and you can experiment with fun party compositions. Overworld exploration is really engaging and evokes the old western RPG atmosphere really well with how the developers set up maps and use their aesthetic to their advantage. The defense mechanism is interesting as well and adds a new focus to the tides of battle through another HP meter that affects damage reduction. However, the cool things that Paper Sorcerer does can alleviate the fact that it's so god-awfully boring. The game seems to take inspirations from many RPG systems, but it feels like they took inspiration from the worst parts of an RPG. The big problem I have with this game is that combat, the main draw and meat of the game, is such a slog and paper thin in terms of depth. Navigating through menus in combat involves a transition animation that takes a full second to complete, and with the sheer amount of menus you navigate, the amount of times wasted piles up rather quickly. Combat has little to no animations, which would make sense considering the paper motif of the game, but these animations are all single frame shifts or changes and feels way too sudden to enjoy. There are also particle effects, but they blend way too well into the background and they feel really basic. Overworld navigation is so slow and static to the point where it feels like you're traveling around on a Roomba that's low on batteries. There's no map function, and while levels are never huge enough to necessitate a map, the visual design makes areas feel so similar that you often find yourself doubting where you've been. All the little things add to a sleep-inducing experience. Literally. I fell asleep while playing this game! What the hell? Paper Sorcerer is presented in a first-person 3D style with a very stylized approach of heavy shadows and comic-style aesthetics. This was the big draw for me towards the game, and admittedly, it does look fantastic. Though it may make navigation a bit confusing, the game is really nice to look at, and the use of a two-tone color scheme and heavy shadows really gives it a great unique look. Character design also benefits from this, delivering an enjoyable stylized look to a classic RPG characters and monsters. It all feels very pleasant to look at. Despite having a great artistic direction, Paper Sorcerer feels hideously unpolished and oftentimes fails to present itself in a flattering manner. As mentioned before, all animations are single frame shifts and sliding sprites, which feels really lazy and jarring when you are used to walking through the overworld in 3D. Text notifications blend into the background easily and make things hard to distinguish, and oftentimes they are off-center and really hard to see. One thing that felt really unsettling was the title and Game Over screens, which felt like something out of a Newgrounds Flash game. The writing in this game is very bare-bones and uninspired, lacking in any intrigue to suck you into the game, or any verbose prose to add impact to exhilarating moments. The music sounds basic and uninspired, it doesn't have a coherent loop, and has a slight pause when the game tries to replay the song again. Looks could only take the game so far, and in this game's case it was the only thing to move it along to begin with. The game engine for Paper Sorcerer runs surprisingly well. The game has a small footprint on your hard drive and uses very little resources, yet still manages to deliver a smooth experience. One thing I liked is that the launcher lets you choose a display, resolution, and game control settings before starting, which is something I wish far more PC games did. It's a very well-coded game, I can't find a single flaw with it whatsoever. Paper Sorcerer is a shining example of the need for market testing in today's market. It's a paper tiger of a game. It looks very pretty, but has no bite whatsoever. 
It's a huge disappointment too, because it seems like all this game's very simple problems could have been solved if someone stepped in to point out what was wrong. I'd point out that the low price is a benefit, but there are much cheaper RPGs on Steam that are also much better games. Overall, I cannot recommend this game at all. Aesthetics and charm can only get you so far, and in Paper Sorcerer's case it didn't get past the preface, 